Hi guys, this is Isa from Printstick and in this video series I will teach you how to edit and create your very own digital planner using Printstick editable template in Keynote. Now if you haven't purchased this template, I still recommend you watch these videos because you will definitely learn how to do everything and you will be able to do it yourself later on if you decide to. So let's get started! Alright, so this is my planner file. As you can see, it looks just like any other planner that you've seen, except that it has some blue arrows all over. And those blue arrows are actually the links that will help you navigate the pages and sections of your planner. So if you tap on each of these arrows, it's going to say link to slide and then a number. And what that means is that this particular link, when I click on it, is going to take me to this slide. So this is kind of like the skeleton of a planner and don't worry, it seems complicated, but it's really not. And the whole idea with this template is that you have it all laid out, all the links work and go to the right sections. So if you are just starting out, you can just worry about changing the colors, adding your own threads, adding extra pages, but don't worry about adding new links as of yet, okay? We're gonna go step by step. Now, if you need to keynote, as you can see on this left side, I have all of the pages that form my planner. Planner. These are slides really that form my planner. Actually, as you can see, the planner ends with this back cover and the following is like little extras that I've included. I'm gonna talk about these as we move on with the tutorial. But these, these actually are important. These are just other color combinations that are ready. So if you prefer one of these, uh, you can just copy the whole thing and then edit this space because it's gonna go a little bit faster. But don't worry, I'm gonna teach you how to do all of that. Alright, so the very first thing that I recommend you do is to actually also download the PDF version of this planner, which is a fully working planner that you can load into GoodNotes the way that you would load any other planner. All the links are going to be working. So I highly recommend you do this because when you start using a planner and you tap on the links, first of all, you will learn how this particular planner works. Some of these are very obvious. If you click on the tab of April, you will go to the month of April. July will take you to July and so on all these top tabs these are basically the monthly spreads once you're inside a month so right now we are inside of February you can click on the bottom tabs here that say week one week two or week three and as you can see the week numbers over here are going to be updating as I tap on each of the tabs so these weeks are within each month okay you have five separate tabs per month Next, you have these tabs on the right, and these are your extra sections. So these are just icons that I added. Of course, you can edit these, but this can be like your finance section. You can have something for like important announcements or events and etc etc these are all blank so you can edit in keynote you can add any spreads that you want and lastly these little clips here they are also links so when you tap on them a new section is going to open you can decide to keep all these three or get rid of some of them just keep one change the colors and move them to another position so after you've played around with this planner for a little while and then you you can see exactly what you want for example oh i want this spiral to be black i don't like it purple i want to change the back covers to a yellow etc you know you can even write down all of these ideas that you want to change so that when you open keynote you know exactly what to do so let's get editing this planner the first thing i'm going to teach you how to do is to change the very first page of your planner which is your cover page if when you tap on your screen with your apple pencil you get this where you automatically start drawing, I will tell you how to change that setting. So you're gonna have to actually get out of Keynote, open your settings, then you will scroll until you find the app Keynote. So scroll down, it's right here, you tap on Keynote, and down here where it says Apple Pencil, select and scroll with Apple Pencil, you have to toggle that on. That will allow you to use your pencil as if it was your finger. Now, to change the background color, tap on the background, which is the gray square. This is, as you can see, this is a whole square that is just covering the original white of the slide that is originally here in Keynote. 
to change the color of this object making sure that you have it selected you know it's selected because you have these six blue dots around the image i'm sorry it's more it's eight dots and then tap on this little like paintbrush icon on the top right it's the second icon left to right tap there and as you can see it says fill and you have this gray color so if i tap there i can move this little uh, wheel of colors i can adjust this slider this is like more less color more color okay like less saturation more saturation and then here you kind of choose the tone of the color that you're looking for say one like a teal color maybe there and i can like adjust the sliders and see how bright or how not bright i want it to be so i think i'm gonna go for something maybe like this of course you can change this in the future but i think i like the way that looks and then click on the paintbrush again and you have changed the color of your background now each of these elements every single thing that forms this planner is a shape that was drawn into keynote i'm gonna teach you how to draw a shape you will click on the plus sign and then on the top bar as you can see the images icon is selected which is the last one if you go to the third icon this is your shapes menu i'm gonna bring this little rounded box it's so simple as you can see because the covers themselves are just a big round rectangle with this green dot you can change how round this cover is going to be and again you can choose the color of this cover to anything you want so we don't need to draw the shapes because they are already all here in this particular template but if you don't have this template and you still want to make your own planner this is how it's done everything that you see here is a shape that we drew with these main shapes that already come included in keynote for example my planner band is just a rectangle that is thinner this little like space to write your name is another box okay i'm gonna delete this it was just to show you how you create shapes so going back to changing the colors if i click on this uh, pink cover i'm gonna go to my paintbrush click on the pink here to go back to that little color picker that i showed you when we were changing the color of the background just click up here where it says color and you will get that option because the first option where it says preset is just preset colors that are not going to be editable actually these are all colors the first uh, window and if you scroll to the left you will get gradients scroll once more and you get these like textures okay so you can play with this and choose whichever option you want you could add any background or any texture that you have you would click on change image here and that would allow you to select your texture and that would uh, fill this image with that texture so you could pick like a leather texture or anything that you want then in gradient you can also choose you know a gradient with uh, different colors so that means that you have two colors and they're gonna like blend together but I'm gonna stick to a solid color if you click on this color option then you get more options of colors you can just tap and find different tones see if one works for you but I think I'm gonna stick to my little wheel and I think I want a purple color I really like purple so I'm gonna go I'm gonna move my slide over there over to purple and I'm gonna start playing with these little sliders and I think that that looks good a little darker because it's the back cover perfect but now like the front part of this cover looks weird because it's like a pink that doesn't really contrast that nicely so to edit that as this is one layer the background then you have the bottom layer of the cover and then we have this other layer if you ever do something that you don't want, for example, I messed up and I moved this image, you can just click on this little back arrow and that's gonna undo what you did. And you can click this like several times. If you want to move forward on something that you accidentally undid, you can tap and hold on that arrow and then click on redo and that's gonna move a step forward. So select on that pink shape, go to your paintbrush and this time something that's different as you can see there's a border and that is the stitch border. So I think I want white stitches so I'm just gonna select on that color and find my white color. 
I can also change the size of the stitches with this slider so you can make them really small or you can make them bigger I think I want something like that no that's too big like this and then I do want to change the solid color as well I want it to be a purple too but just lighter so let's move this until we find something that we like all right so a little trick I'm gonna teach you uh, this bottom left icon here is your color picker so if you tap on that icon and then tap and hold on the screen and drag your pencil around the work area and stop at the color that you want that's the color that the image will be colored with if that makes sense so I want to pick the same purple I will tell you why because I want to make it lighter and the easiest way to do it is to start with the exact same color and then just changing the opacity kind of so I don't have to like use my wheel to look for the exact color rather I have it already and then I can just make it darker or lighter so I want it lighter this time so I'm just gonna slide this a little bit I think that's fine then I need to change this little box as well so I'm gonna do it exactly the same way use my color picker and just select on the purple to pick that exact color and then I'm gonna make it lighter maybe like that lastly I'm gonna change the planner band so the same way this one has a shadow that you can turn on or off by just toggling this option on and off all right as you can see now it's off no shadow but you can turn it on just click here and the shadow drops okay but I want to change the color to the same purple so this time I can just play with my sliders maybe a yellow would contrast nicely let's see over here I don't like that this window is like blocking a lot my image but I can still kind of like get an idea of what it's gonna look like maybe like there uh, yeah it's like a nice contrast I don't know let's see it can be maybe some teal there you know what I like this but now we have to change the, the background I feel because it's kind of getting lost so I can either just make it darker I think I'm gonna pick a gray for the background dark gray maybe let's see how that goes yeah and then I really think that this color of rings looks okay however I'm gonna of course teach you how you can change that so this as I said these are all shapes that were drawn by me into keynotes so this is a bunch of different shapes that are grouped together and to edit you have to select them all right so this spiral is made out of different elements you have the ring and then you have this little like circle which is a hole where the spiral goes in into the cover of the planner just to tell you how that works everything's grouped together so if I double tap on the spiral you will see that only the rings are selected if I double tap again on those rings you will see that only one ring is selected that's just to give you an idea of how these items are made and how they are grouped now since that ring is uh, selected if I went to my paintbrush I could change the color of it right there but of course you have a ton of different rings you don't have to do this individually so the way you would change a bunch of rings is tap on your spiral group to select the whole thing then tap once more and now you have only the rings selected but they're still grouped so tap on your paintbrush click on ungroup and do not deselect these because then you will not be able to regroup them directly tap on your paintbrush again and now you can change the fill color for all of these items okay so I want to choose like a black grayish like that maybe and that's it I am happy with my color so going back to the arrange section on the top here now click on group again and that is going to regroup the items because if you don't regroup I'll show you what happens double tap to select the rings 
paintbrush on group and then if I select outside now these are ungrouped they are still in the same spiral group I know this is confusing it's like there are several groups together but just follow the previous steps that I said to change the color of all the elements at once and if you ever mess up and you accidentally ungroup or you move something out of place just use your back arrow and undo what you did all right guys so that was the first lesson on how to edit your own digital planner keep an eye out for lesson number two we will start changing the colors of your spreads and then copy that color selection to each of the pages of the planner thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't if you have questions questions leave them in a comment down below and I'll get back to you see you next time bye bye